Does the thought of you or a loved one facing bath time cause anxiety? No, you failed to take your clothes off. to take your clothes off. You have to take your clothes off to take a bath. April 11th, 2021. A young child's phone lights up with a notification from his TikTok account. His heart races as, up until this point, engagement on his page had been practically non-existent. And so, excitedly, he unlocks his screen before quickly realizing that this reply was something strange. As rather than being a comment in response to his video, it was instead a challenge. A challenge directed at him. It read, Dare you to ask your parents if you can get a bath fully clothed in your shoes and socks and see what they say. The child was no more than 12 years old, and not wanting to let his new fan down, he decided to accept the dare, approaching his mother and asking to take a bath in his clothes, to which his mother responds with a sharp, No. As inconsequential as it may seem, this one comment is merely our first encounter with one of the more unusual internet mysteries in recent memory, as the account behind it has quietly become one of TikTok's strangest, by leaving a trail of concerning videos and comments in its wake. And just as I began to scratch its surface, I quickly realized that this was a rabbit hole far deeper than I'd ever planned on diving down. This is the disturbing story of Howard the Duck 4. and he is going to get in the shower. Before we dive down this rabbit hole, I wanna first thank today's sponsor, Current. For me, banking has always been an overly complicated and stressful thing to deal with, but Current has come along and basically streamlined everything in a way that has brought banking into the future. Upon signing up, you are mailed your very own Visa card to use, and from there, everything is managed directly through your mobile device, which makes it incredibly easy to deposit checks and add funds to your accounts with just a few clicks. Current also allows you to overdraft up to $100 without receiving any type of fee. Along with this, there are also 40,000 ATMs across the US, which you can use your current card at completely free of charge. But my all-time favorite feature and current claim to fame is the fact that it allows you to get paid up to two days faster with direct deposit. So if this is something that you would be interested in trying out, then head over to current.com slash Crowley Nick to sign up for free today. TikTok is the new social video app making some serious waves. Hello there. How are you? Hope you're all well. And hope you're all keeping fine. It started back in the summer of 2020 with this video. An inconspicuous upload by an older user named Howard the Duck 4. His real identity wasn't known, for the main reason that no one really cared enough to find out. He never had any significance on the site, with most of his uploads going by without so much as a second glance, or even a first glance for that matter. And given the quality of his videos, it's not hard to understand why, as the man, who I'll now be referring to simply as Howard, just comes across as a clueless grandpa, unsure of how TikTok actually works. However, as lackluster as this inaugural video seems, there is one unusual moment at the end, when Howard, out of the blue, mentions, I love to do things, like swimming fully clothed. To a fleeting viewer, the mention of him liking to swim fully clothed would likely be seen as some kind of bizarre joke. But if you stuck around his page any longer, you'd soon notice a pattern to his posting. Hello everybody, if I get 50 likes, then I will get a bath fully clothed. Hello, I'm about to get in the bath fully clothed. <laughs> Across Howard's page that features just a select few uploads, over and over again, we see the mention of swimming, bathing, and showering in clothing. And we even get to see Howard actually do it for himself, as he's seen here soaking in the tub with a big smile on his face. For whatever reason, Howard appeared to love being in that bathtub with his clothes on, 
and he seemed completely infatuated with the idea of wet clothing, which to some might have been interpreted as a joke or a bit. But for me and others across the web, it stands out as something potentially a bit more perverse, a fetish known as wet look. In simple terms, wet look is the sexual fetishization of wet clothing, whether it be the feeling of it on you or the look of it on someone else. And this is surprisingly a really common thing, as a simple search on YouTube will yield countless results, with viewership often in the tens of thousands. With many of these uploads being very reminiscent to the videos you would see across Howard's page. And just based off of the small sample size we have through Howard's channel, it seems possible that this could be something he might also partake in. As after all, why else would he be doing this and discussing it so often, while clearly enjoying the actual process of soaking in his clothes? With the information provided thus far, it's impossible to prove one way or another whether this is actually something sexual for Howard, but it at least seems like a possibility. And even if this was some kind of fetish for him, there's nothing inherently wrong with that, right? Well, this is where things start to take an odd turn, as around the same time that Howard had been making these videos, an obscure clip would emerge from a similarly unknown creator. Don't mind me. I don't want to do anything, but we're gonna try something. Do you want to do an activity? Okay, get on shoes, socks, pants. Let me know when you're ready. Why do I need my shoes on? Do you wanna get in? Yes. Okay, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. <laughs> the video shows a mother excitedly taking part in a challenge where her son enters the bath with all of his clothes on. And what transpires next seems to be a goofy video done in good fun. But it gets a bit stranger when it's revealed that the one proposing this dare was Howard. With his comment reading, I've got an idea for you to do where your son is concerned if you're willing to take part in an experiment with him. Before going on to explain that this dare was for the young boy to get into the bath fully clothed. It's an odd video. And to make it all the more concerning, it wasn't the only one. So Brody was dared to take a shower fully clothed. You can see he has shoes, socks, shorts, underwear, hoodie, shirt, and he is going to get in the shower. Is it cold? Oh, I bet that feels weird. I bet it does fully clothed. That very same day, another clip would go live showing a young boy entering the shower with all of his clothes on. And again, this was done in response to a challenge issued by Howard. And these videos were just the tip of the iceberg. As in the days, months, and now year following these videos, other users across the site would report seeing hundreds and hundreds of Howard's comments littered all across TikTok, daring people to participate in his new game. It was all just so bizarre, and it became even more so as time went on, as Howard's comments began to grow increasingly demanding and manipulative. Which leads us all the way back to the scenario mentioned at the opening of this video, where a young child had received a similar comment from Howard. This was in fact a real encounter, which led to the child recording himself asking his mother to participate before she eventually told him no. Can I take a bath with, with my clothes on, with my shoes and my socks? No. But the most damning part of their interaction came within the comments of this video, where Howard actually responded by saying, love it, what did she say? The kid then comments back with, no, lol. Twice now, Howard had gotten his answer, first from the video, and now from this comment straight from the child himself. However, Howard didn't leave it at that, as he then pushes back by saying, does that mean yes or no? Again, this already answered question went without a reply, prompting yet another response by Howard, where this time he says, if she had said yes, what would you have done? Would you have gotten in the bath fully clothed in your shoes and socks? 
The whole exchange comes across as almost desperate on Howard's part, as he seems incredibly pushy with a child who is no more than 12 years old. And his last comment makes it seem as if he's fantasizing about this, and the idea of the kid following through with his dare. Plus, even after receiving a firm answer on multiple occasions, he never gave it a rest. In fact, a full month later, Howard came back to the young boy's page once again and asked him to participate. Only this time, Howard asked him to do it without his mother's permission. It all felt very manipulative, and this was a theme throughout most of the comments he left, as he never took no for an answer, and he seemed almost obsessed with having people do this challenge of his. And that wasn't the only concerning similarity across his many replies. If you haven't noticed already, Howard seemed to have a targeted demographic for his challenge, with that being children. As out of all the comments he would leave, they were exclusively left on accounts run by or featuring minors. He never asked a single adult to do it, as he always zeroed in on children specifically and children only. And to get even more specific, he only ever asked little boys. Which brings us to one burning question. Why? Oh, he's all wet. Mr. Noodle gave his clothes a bed. Howard's TikTok activity is something truly peculiar, as it certainly raises a number of red flags. As across his page, we see him posting videos that seem to indicate a wet look fetish. And now, he just so happens to have started this challenge that is basically providing him with wet look content. And to make it all stranger, he's supposedly trying to start this new challenge, this new trend. Yet, he only ever asks underaged boys to take part in this. And when he does ask, he comes across as desperate to receive these videos, going as far as to use means of manipulation. Piecing it all together, it becomes more and more clear that something truly sinister is happening here, as it appears as though Howard has made up this fake challenge to take advantage of kids and to provide him with erotic content coming from minors. All while doing so in a discreet way, with the challenge proving to be the perfect cover-up as it makes it so inconspicuous that even the parents of these kids are willingly allowing it to happen and filming it themselves. This was just for there. Completely unaware that these videos just so happen to line up with Howard's likely fetish. And the fact that he only ever seeks this content from little boys hints at a clear preference and almost single-handedly discredits the idea that this is really just some innocent challenge. As remember, there are said to be hundreds and hundreds of these comments out there, as he obsessively comments day in and day out, and not a single one has been found on an adult's page, or even a young girl's page. And if you think the idea of predators creating fake challenges to obtain fetish content sounds far-fetched, well, this would actually be far from the first time something like this has happened. Back in the older days of YouTube, there were countless cases where predators would do the same thing. They would find unknown channels run by kids and proceed to ask them to do sexual things, all under the guise of these fake challenges, which were oftentimes far more graphic than Howard's dares. But at the end of the day, they all serve the same purpose, to create fetish material for those promoting the challenge. It's the perfect cover-up and the perfect incentivizer to make kids take part in this, as you would be hard-pressed to find a child who would recognize this as a fetish, or even an adult for that matter. And with all this being said, I'm left to firmly believe that Howard does in fact have malicious intent with these comments, and this challenge of his seems to be strictly done for his own sexual gain. The red flags are just too glaring. But identifying this man's predatory behavior is only half the battle. We still don't have undisputed proof that this is a fetish for him. Plus, we still don't even know who this man even is. And to make matters more difficult, this is where his trail left behind on TikTok essentially ends, as the Howard the Duck 4 page is practically void of any personal information that could be used to track him down, leading us straight 
to a dead end. Or so I thought. Hi everyone, today I'm to bring in a shark with my clothes on. Faced with a lack of answers coming from TikTok, I decided to see what more I could find on this wet clothes fetish here on YouTube. And although many results were totally fine and happening between consenting adults, I was shocked to see that Howard wasn't the only one who had his sights set on minors. My first search revealed hundreds and even thousands of videos of young kids bathing, swimming, and showering in their clothes, many of which were placed in playlists that were clearly meant to be viewed for sexual pleasure, as they had names like Hot and Mmm. And disturbingly, most if not all of these videos seem to have come from challenges, and challenges that I had never heard of, and that don't seem to actually be real. For example, the cold shower challenge and the jumping into shower fully clothed challenge. Mm -hmm. um, the cold shower challenge. And essentially every single one of these videos had been created due to dares left within their comments, the same way that Howard has been doing on TikTok, making it clear to me that Howard is not the only one with this specific predatory fetish. And he's not the only one trying to exploit children across the web into making this content. The scope of it all is honestly surreal, as some of these videos have tens and thousands of views, and they just seem to go on and on for forever, with hundreds of thousands of results, the majority of which are currently being viewed sexually. This whole rabbit hole of fake challenges across YouTube is something that I'm going to cover more in depth in an upcoming video. But it's important to note that in recent years, YouTube has removed comments on all videos made by children, which thankfully has drastically reduced the spread of these fake challenges on YouTube, meaning that most of these results are thankfully from many years ago. But not all of them as there was one somewhat recent clip that I just so happened to stumble upon that made me stop dead in my tracks. Mom, can I make a bath with, with my clothes on, with my shoes and my socks? It was the video provoked by Howard, the very start of this whole rabbit hole. Only this time, rather than being on TikTok, the clip had been re-uploaded to a YouTube channel called Kids Swimming Fully Clothed. And this wasn't the only upload, as the channel has several others, all of which can easily be traced back to Howard, as in each of the videos you can see Howard's comments plastered at the top, proposing his now infamous dare. Out of these seven uploads to be featured on this channel, Every single one has been made in response to Howard's comments, and all of these re-uploads came very soon after the actual videos were posted. Which, given the obscurity of these videos and Howard in general, he was most likely the only one who would have been monitoring them. Which leads me to believe that this is in fact his channel, and he's using it to store and share his fetish videos. Or in other words, he's essentially created his own fetish page right here on YouTube by using content solely produced by minors. Howard isn't just soliciting these videos for himself. These comments and these dares were clearly part of a larger plan to distribute this material across the web for the many others who share his sick obsession. And despite the fake challenge problem having been seemingly solved on YouTube, thanks to the removal of comments, Howard has actually found a way around it, as he's using TikTok to do his dirty work and YouTube to share his prizes. Which shows us that Howard's reach extends far past that of just TikTok. But how far past was something that I never could have seen coming. Armed with the knowledge that Howard wasn't solely on one platform, I began searching to see where else I could find him across the web. And as a shot in the dark, I decided to search up things like swimming fully clothed and swimming with clothes on and shoes and socks, which eventually led me to a Twitter account started all the way back in 2012 that had been discussing this very fetish, with the username being Howard the Duck 6 
There, this user would tweet things like, I love to go swimming fully clothed, especially during summer months. Dare you to tell your kids to get a bath or shower fully clothed in their shoes and socks tonight. See what happens. And money-saving idea for the washing if you have kids. Once a week, get them to have a bath fully clothed. It washes them and their clothes. And the tweets go on from there in a similar vein. Which, given the username and the obvious interest in kids swimming with their clothes on, it's apparent that this page is also run by Howard. But this was nowhere near the end of his trail, as I soon started discovering more and more accounts run by Howard from every single direction I looked, many of which going by similar usernames, and all of which discussing wet clothes on children. Eight years ago on Answers.com, an account belonging to Howard asked, Would you ever teach your kids to swim fully clothed with their shoes and socks on? Or have you ever learned your kids to swim fully clothed with their shoes and socks on? In another instance, he turned up on a website called SwimmingForum.com, again asking if anyone would let their kids swim fully clothed. And it went on from there, as he had posted about the topic on Kiora as well as made numerous polls on MrPoll.com, where he posed questions relating to young kids and, of course, swimming with their clothes on. I even found numerous of Howard's banned accounts on a few separate sites, like Hub Pages, for example, where he had been permanently banned for incessantly posting about swimming children. The magnitude of his online footprint is unlike anything I have ever seen, as his postings date back well before 2010 and reach all the way up until present day, and he's on virtually every single website I could ever think to check, and on others that I have never even heard of before. And through all of his years of posting online and through all of his different accounts, he only ever posted about kids swimming in their clothes. It's almost as if the thought of it consumes his life, and every spare moment he has is spent fantasizing about it. He's even started multiple Facebook groups to share his interest in the topic, with one being called People Who Bathe Fully Clothed Weekly Meeting, and Kids Who Would Like To or Who Can Swim Fully Clothed. Howard is quite literally in every corner of the internet talking about this and seeking this content out, as it seems that as time has gone on, he's grown smarter and smarter about how to solicit these videos for himself, as what once started as random posting across the web has now turned into the targeted exploitation of children in a practically foolproof way. But luckily for us, with an online trail this massive, Howard was bound to slip up at one point. I dare you to get a bath full of clothes. As it turns out, it seems that Howard wasn't even trying that hard to keep his identity a secret. As on his Twitter page discussed previously, he links to a GoFundMe site where he was trying to raise money for a cause that he so dearly believed in. The page read, I am doing a swim fully clothed for Martin House Hospice for children and young people because to help in the running of the hospice, please do give as much as you can. Every penny really does help. Thank you. What this event was supposed to be and how this money would actually help in any way was never specified. Though it seemed pretty obvious that this was a failed attempt by Howard to try and witness his fetish up close and personal by holding an event encouraging kids to come and swim fully clothed. But within this listing lies one key mistake, as Howard had used his real name, likely something that would have been required if he wanted to receive any of the funds. And surprisingly, his name actually did turn out to be Howard, Howard Newton to be exact, and after a few quick searches and matching his photos and videos, it's clear that Howard the Duck 4 is in fact Howard Newton, a middle-aged man living in West Yorkshire, England. And the discovery of Howard's true identity managed to prove even more important than I ever could have imagined. As throughout this video, though it seemed obvious that Howard did in fact have a wet look fetish, I couldn't find any undeniable proof of it until I found his personal Facebook page. There, I discovered that he was following accounts like Wet Look, Vicky's Mud Paradise, and Zenny's Wet Look, among many others. 
which, if you haven't guessed, are all clear-cut, wet-look fetish pages, all of which were heavily sexualized and followed closely by Howard which confirms without a shadow of a doubt that this was always something sexual for Howard. Along with this, discovering Howard's identity also showed me that the Howard the Duck 4 account wasn't even his only page on TikTok, as he has actively been posting, as well as continuing his spree of comments on another account called Newton Howard 1. Please do follow me on this account. This is the backup account in case videos get banned on my other account. On this page, Howard explains that he is using it as a backup account should his main channel get banned, which that alone shows us that Howard is aware that his predatory behavior at the very least goes against terms of service, and it heavily implies that he is well aware what he's doing is wrong. And though his behavior under Howard the Duck 4 seemed somewhat calculated and clearly thought through, in this other page, he is far more unhinged, as he has ramped up his obsessive commenting even more. And he's now started making videos in response to those in his replies, where he verbally asks these young boys to participate in his challenges. I dare you to get a bath full of clothes and do a cup of wee wet clothes off. I dare you to get a bath full of clothes and then do a shuffle in your wet clothes. And even when he's getting called out by some of these kids, he just continues to ask shamelessly. But by far the most troubling discovery to come from his new TikTok account takes us yet again to the opening of this video. And that same child who Howard had approached all the way back in April of 2021. It was noted earlier that Howard had returned to the young boy's page a whole month later after his initial offer was declined. But as it turns out, he didn't even stop there, as he actually returned to the young boy's page yet again, this time a whole six months later, where he continued begging for this kid's participation this time doing so under the more recent Newton Howard account, which just further showcases his disturbing persistence and how deep his predatory obsession truly is. And by this point, I had thought I'd seen it all, or at least the worst that this rabbit hole had to offer. But just as I had finished this video up, I made yet another disturbing discovery, and one that brings this whole case full circle. While scrolling through Howard's Facebook page one final time, I realized that he had been following another suspicious group. And upon sifting through its contents, I found that Howard was the only one to have posted on it and was its original creator, with the group's name being Dare to Do for YouTube Video. There, Howard would follow a similar formula to his TikTok page by daring users to do his challenge with the only difference being that he would ask them to upload the footage directly to YouTube. And when they would do so, he would link the videos back within the group as a way of archiving them and encouraging others to participate, with these postings going all the way back to 2014. And it didn't stop there, as I found another page that was also run by Howard, called Bath Challenge Facebook Group, where he did the same exact thing, only there he was and is far more active, as the group has hundreds of posts, all showing kids participating in these dares, with the most recent posts being the TikTok videos that he had obtained earlier this year. Between these two groups were countless proposed dares and even more videos, with the most concerning part being that Howard seems to have taken credit for them. And though I haven't found a way to prove it yet for sure, it seems likely that many, if not all of these hundreds of YouTube videos were solicited by Howard himself. This didn't start for him on TikTok. He was one of the ones running these fake challenge operations on YouTube way back in the early days. And when the comment sections got disabled and it became much harder to solicit these videos through YouTube, Howard simply switched platforms to continue his predatory ways. It's just such a disturbing revelation, as it's very likely that many of the videos I had scrolled through when exploring the YouTube side of this, simply to understand the history of fake internet challenges, may have actually been solicited by the very predator I was hunting.
This is truly one of the most bizarre cases that I've ever worked on, and it all leads us to a rather uncertain ending, as it's unclear what will happen to Howard from this point on. Taking everything we know about him into consideration, I have suspicions that there is some sort of mental illness involved here. However, given how calculated his approach was on TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube, and the fact that he's used this content to start a fetish page on YouTube leads me to believe that he is aware enough to understand what he's doing. Plus, not to mention his clear understanding that what he's doing is wrong and would likely lead to him getting banned. And because of this, I forwarded all of this information and more to law enforcement in his area. Though I honestly have my doubts that they will actually do anything. I mean, this whole thing is just so obscure. And though Howard is clearly a predator, he's being predatory in an unconventional way. And given the way the laws are written, I'm not sure if he's actually done anything illegal. So I'd imagine that this would be a hard case for law enforcement to pursue, which is a huge problem, as this is the case with practically all of these fake challenges across the web. Given the fact that they are typically centered around an obscure fetish, plus the lack of any real laws being broken, it's basically made this style of solicitation practically risk-free for the predators out there, as these people never wind up facing any sort of repercussions. So I think it's important that we bring these cases to light every so often so that these predators know that there are consequences to their actions. Because as of now, there is practically no one holding them accountable, which has made these predators, like Howard, run rampant across the web. I just want to briefly mention that I have some new merch for those who are interested. And I also want to shout out my god-tier patrons, Barry Winstanley, Bazoo42, Biznacker, Bray, Karen S, Donovan Aaron, Emmanuel Kadena, Game Gamer, J Money, Just Daly, Catherine Ross, Lacey, Mark PH, Nathan Bacchus, Quinn Kiwi, Robert Rabito, Sam Lutfi, Skelly, Sub to Micro O, The Deck of Cards, Unblended Corchnoy, Zinsu Sensei, and Trucky Doggo. 